today's video, we're going to be having a look at the Disney Store. This is the Star Wars Toy Box Figure 1. This is Kylo Ren. Let's grab the tape measure. Kylo Ren is about five and a half inches in height. Because we looked at these with the Marvel ones, I won't spend a lot of time, but they come with a toy box catalog. And both sides there. And we'll go ahead and open this up. Giving you a checklist inside. There we go. Showing you all the characters that you can get. Uh, I didn't pick up the First Order Stormtrooper. They did have it, but... Uh, I only really ended up picking up the Thor, the Hulk, Kylo Ren, and Rey initially. I don't know why I passed on the, the Toy Story stuff. They had that there as well. I'll probably go back though and pick these up. Because I'm really actually quite liking the line. And put that to the side. Of course he comes with his uh, trusty lightsaber as well. Which has a more chunkier look to it. Of course by the nature of the, the way the character is now depicted. Some nice paint there applied in the hilt portion. you got some silver added there. And then the lightsaber kind of looks like a licorice, like a Twizzler, just by the way it's kind of curved and spiraled there. Uh, he does fit it into his hand, but he only fits it in this one hand here, which I believe is, is his correct hand anyways, uh, as this hand has the kind of lunging, finger-reaching sort of hand. Uh, but he does hold it well. He ha holds it a lot better, actually, than the Marvel uh, version figures like the Hulk and the Thor. Uh, really good. Again, I really like the look of these guys. They've got a simplicity kind of to them, a super, super kind of deformed, stylized look at them. Kind of what we, well, what we would get with the Disney Infinity stuff. And Kylo Ren, I wish I could actually find where I put my Kylo Ren from Disney Infinity. I mean, the, the looks of them are very, very similar. Of course, again, to the fact that they are, uh, you know, the other ones are pre-posed. Here's the packaging again. We, I know we kind of looked at the beginning of this review. I'll just spin it around. Um, I think that's I think that's how Kylo Ren was posed. He might have actually been more of an encroached pose. But this is actually a very similar... Well, you could theoretically get him in that same similar pose. Let's see if we can actually do this. The box is going to... box is not... I've cut the box, so of course it's been ripped open. By the way, there's the price there. I paid $15.95 for these figures, which again, are a little bit steeper, but I th I personally think that they're worth it. I mean, you know, you get most figures nowadays, they're generally pretty high to start off with. Okay, so we're going to bend it this way. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just seeing if I can actually get them in a similar pose to... There's one thing that I don't like about Kylo here, and I'll talk about him, I'll talk about that in a second. That's uh, that's roughly about it. Almost a similar pose, almost. Could could use a little work, but that's okay. Uh, the one thing I have problems with this figure, I'll take the lightsaber out of his hand, is that his feet, his feet only have a hinge, just a hinge back and forth. Uh, I wish that he could have actually rocked at the ankle, like if they had put in a ball joint there, or like a universal joint, because. You, you can get them in cool poses, but you can't really bend, you know, bend the feet to the point that they're flat. So he kind of always, it doesn't really also help him to stand because his feet, you know, his feet are always going to be on an angle. You, if you could only have twisted, turned the ankle so the feet were flat, I think that would have worked a little bit better. But they uh, unfortunately only gave him hinges. Ball joints, or ball socket, uh, ball hole, peg holes, thank you, peg holes on the undersides of his feet. Doesn't come with a display stand. I don't really know why they put peg holes there, especially specifically that size, if he doesn't come with a display stand. But anyways, nonetheless. But again, some really good coloring here on the figure, even though primarily he's all black. I do like the, sh the, the sculpting of him, especially like the back shredded area of his cloak. Uh, you can technically, I guess you could remove the hood if you wanted to. I would have almost preferred if they had glued you know, something maybe to the back of the, the head so that the head was always sunken in to the hood portion. Because as you know, with Kylo Ren, 
Now, generally, these figures always tend to have a loose hood. So, I mean, when you rotate the head, a lot of times the head ends up just sticking out a little bit. I kind of like the head a little bit more tucked back in there. So nice uh, wrappings there on his sleeves and the lower skirt portion there, which if I just move it out of the way, he has a skirt underneath as well. And you can see here how the legs kind of come together. Uh, this one leg is a little on the loose side. This one's not as bad. Generally, he's a pretty stiff uh, jointed figure. I don't really have excessively loose problems. I guess his one hand is a little on the loose side. But uh, yeah, I, I do really like the look of Kylo Ren here. Articulation on this guy. He has a universal joint on the head, so you get the rotation going there. You probably saw that I'm holding the hood while I'm doing it, just because, you know, if you try to move the head on its own, sometimes the head gets kind of moved inside the hood. It's got a, just a waist swivel from the looks of it on his lower torso. Arms hinge out, you rotate them all the way around. You can also bend the elbows and rotate the forearms all the way around. And you get the rotation also in the same thing with the hands. So basically, hand, elbow, shoulder, all the same on this guy. Then you get to the legs. Luckily, they put a split on the skirt so you can move the legs outward. But shame, shame, shame. You can't still bend the feet f uh, inward. So, you know, even if you bring the legs out to a, a pretty neat looking pose, Unfortunately, the feet end up disappointing you because you just can't do enough with them. You get the bend sure in the knee and you get the lower rotation. But unfortunately, the foot only does this. That could have been something that they would have, I would have hoped they could have fixed, but ultimately uh, they did not. Still can get some pretty interesting poses out of him, just not nearly at the level that you would want to, say for example, like Hulk. Hulk, you could get a lot of poses in him because the leg had a lot of universal kind of had a lot of posability. Uh, unfortunately, this guy doesn't have nearly as much in the foot portion, so getting him in a little bit more of a dynamic pose can be a little trickier. Despite unfortunately suffering from weak articulation in the feet, I really wish he could have had an ankle pivot. I still really like this figure. I was a big fan of the Disney Infinity stuff when it was being released to store shelves and Kylo Ren being one of the figures that I, I really went and picked up right away from the Star Wars line. I'm kind of getting this guy again in an articulated version. I really think it was smart on Disney's part to kind of stick with a Disney Infinity theme, but giving us taller figures that you could actually pose. Kylo Ren, I wish he could have been posed a little bit better, but still really like how he turned out and definitely excited to pick up more of these as they start hitting store shelves. Speaking of hitting store shelves, though, uh, these, I believe, are Disney Store exclusives. I don't know 100% know whether that's the case or not, but I'm only certain I've seen them at Disney stores. So if you are looking to pick these up for yourself and you don't have a Disney store in your area, you may ultimately have to look to order these guys online. But I do really think that it's a fun collection that if Disney sticks with it, uh, I could really see some big potential coming from the line as a whole. Today we're having a look at the Disney store. This was the Star Wars toy box and this was figure one Kylo Ren. If you guys haven't had a chance yet to subscribe to this channel, there's a little subscribe button down below this video. Make sure you hit that as we are on our route, on our way to a 200,000 subscriber mark. Can't wait to hit that mark. And you guys can help me by liking and sharing this video. Thanks for watching as you always do, guys. Stay tuned. More videos, including more toy box videos, will be coming your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.